Hey everybody, this is Dennis Domzalski here, author of Disturbers Row, my latest book, new book, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's about uh, the growing up Catholic in the 50s and 60s in the city of Chicago and the uh, crazy abusive nuns we had and uh, how uh, five uh, seventh grade boys, the Disturbers, uh, fought back and rebelled. Uh, the nuns, yeah, they, they used to beat people up and uh, beat children up. <laughs> it's crazy, but uh, but they did. The other theme of the book is <clears throat> the freedom that we had as kids to, to roam uh, our neighborhood and our city at will. We, um, uh, you know, in the summer and on Saturday mornings, there was only one rule that we had when we left the house, and that was to be home by supper time. So we roamed and basically had total freedom to, to go wherever we wanted. Uh, and it was wonderful stuff. And uh, one, I think that's missing from a lot of kids today. I think a lot of them don't have that. But the beauty of it was this is, you know, we had to learn stuff on our own. How to deal with each other, how to get along, pick sides in baseball and sports and you know, if you um, if you didn't get picked or if you got picked last, you felt kind of bad. But maybe that was because other kids were better than you. So it was all learning process. And we learned it amongst ourselves and we and we we worked things out. And I think that was an invaluable, uh, invalu invaluable situation. So I'm going to get to these pictures. I Yeah, as I said before, got them from Chicago History Museum. They're mostly from the um, early part of the 20th century, some 1950s and 60s. And an idea of uh, what, uh, uh, how, uh, how life used to be before, you know, we had helicopter parents, play dates, organized sports, and everybody being afraid of everything, you know. Uh, uh, our neighborhood, working class neighborhood in Chicago, was a uh, safe place. And maybe things are different in that regard, and that things are not as safe. Maybe we have a, a world that isn't isn't quite that safe anymore. But um, but all I know is that we had a wonderful time. And so let's uh, let's get to these things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this is uh, from 1909 kids playing on a flooded street. Uh, you can, you know, uh, they're playing, you can see the manhole cover of the sewer cover. <clears throat> That's kind of crooked in the uh, in the uh, sewer there. And uh, 1909, kids having a fun and brainstorm, and that's what kids did when it rained. You went out in the street and you, if the streets flooded, like the curbs got flooded, you'd slosh around in the stuff. Uh, no one was really concerned whether these kids would catch germs or bacteria. Uh, so these kids are having a wonderful time and it's, uh, it's, it's just great stuff. This is a wonderful picture. These are how many? Six, seven, seven boys, uh, eight, nine, ten, probably, on the bank of the Chicago, on a bank of the Chicago River. This is from 1919, and uh, uh, the Chicago River at that point in time was not a. It still ain't not a very clean river. Uh, it was loaded, you know, just lined with factories, especially in the downtown area and although this this looks like it might be a little further out so it the water might be halfway decent but it looks like they're having fun <clears throat> and uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, you know no uh, no adults needed and uh, these kids are just having a wonderful time you know, look at these kids here they're what three four maybe that kid on the uh, on the far Far left, he's got to be three. I'm guessing he's three years old. But this is from uh, 1953, and they're you know just playing um, uh, again on a flooded street. Well, this curb and sidewalk are <clears throat> really uh, really torn up there. But uh, again, having fun. There is a guy in the background. Who knows who who he is? But uh, you know, kids. They're, they're near the street. I just don't know that that would, so much of it would probably not be allowed today. You know, someone's going to, uh, parents are going to uh, 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 worry about, one, the kids getting wet if cars come by and splash them, um, but also, you know, worrying that, worrying that they're too close to the street. 
uh, and that they're going to get hurt by a car. So it's a, uh, again, different time. And who knows how far these kids are from their, from their house, but sure looks like they're having fun. This is from 1919, and these are kids in Lincoln Park. which is a major Chicago park, a uh, massive place. But they're on a pier, and I think there's 12 kids, and um, they are certainly playing by themselves. I don't see anybody, any adults around. And they just got together, <clears throat> probably in their neighborhood. I mean, they would have lived you know, near the, near the park. But they would have gone out and called each other out. And I think I said in one of my other videos how, how we did that as kids. We didn't use telephones. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have internet. Didn't have text messaging. Uh, but there were telephones, but only one phone in a house. And, uh, you know, you just really used it sparingly. So we would go out to the alley, uh, walk down the alley, find a kid's house, and uh, maybe walk in his backyard and just start shouting, Yo, Steve! Yo, Bob! Yo, Ed! And um, after a while, they would hear you, and they someone would open a window or a door and say, yeah, what do you want? And you'd go, hey, can you come out and play? Yeah, I'll be right there. And so, uh, but uh, nice to see, and uh, not so sure you'd find a, uh, a group of kids uh, in today's, not, not this young anyway, going to Lincoln Park and water by themselves. I'm sure someone would be, you know, worried that they're going to drown. They're going, it's again, getting germs and bacteria, you name it, blah, blah, blah. This is a fun slide because, I mean, it's not that long ago, 1964, uh, park in Chicago, and this is the playground. Playgrounds were, most parks had playgrounds, but notice this. This is not sand. It's not soft, rubbery stuff. It looks like concrete or asphalt. Uh, and these kids are playing on the swings. Uh, and, uh, man, I, I mean, it just wouldn't be allowed today that the, the, the <laughs> someone would be suing the city over this. But this is from 1964. And again, it's kids and I don't see any adults around. So they're by the park. They're at the park by themselves, uh, playing swings, having a good time and just, um, yeah, just being, being, having fun. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a fun photograph from 1964. Uh, again, city of Chicago, a park, and that's the playground. And notice those swing sets. But no, no, notice one thing about it: uh, that surface, that's uh, either concrete or asphalt. Uh, it certainly isn't sand. And um, uh, you know, not, of course, nowadays that just wouldn't be allowed. But uh, no one really thought that much about it back then. And yeah. I suppose it's, you know, it's, yeah, it'd be nasty if you fell, but um, very few kids actually fell. But uh, time marches on, and so now when all the park surfaces are either sand or rubber or rubberized something or other. 1949, south side of Chicago, a group of kids uh, playing, uh, playing in an alley. You can see four. 55 gallon garbage cans there. That wall really looks, really looks beat out, doesn't it? And there's a, there is one adult. Ah, there's a couple of adults in the picture, but again, kids uh, enjoying themselves. Who knows what they're thinking about or what they're telling each other? It looks like they got a, I don't know what they have there. It looks like a rope or some sticks maybe, uh, but uh, I'm sure their imaginations are roaming, uh, roaming free. Uh, boy, this is a fun picture, too. Uh, 1953, uh, they've got their wagon, their radio flyer wagon. But those kids, look at, I mean, they, I'm going to guess four, and maybe five. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But they certainly are young. They're playing by themselves on a the street. There doesn't appear to be any adults around. And they're just having, uh, certainly having a good time. Look at the wheels on that wagon, though. Those are pretty, uh, pretty heavy-duty wheels. Uh, but, uh, and, you know, who knows where they're pulling? Are they, for all we know, these kids are going around the block, up and down the block, through the alleys. Who knows how far they're going from their, from their homes. Uh, but uh, 
but uh, this was pretty normal back back then and no one I mean if you were walking down the street and you saw this group of kids no one would think anything about it oh, okay the kids are playing uh, so again times have indeed changed the same group of kids uh, again pulling the wagon uh, playing in the in the street uh, and again we don't know how far they've roamed from their house whether they're going up and down the block through the alleys we don't know but uh, it's a bet well you can see that there are no adults around and these kids are having a really good time great picture now, this is 1953 and one of the things if you notice in these pictures in the background there are those apartment buildings six flats uh, 12 flats uh, all brick pretty sturdy things but these kids again are pretty young and they're just out on the sidewalk and by themselves in front of their home they got their little tricycle there and uh, uh, I'm guessing that kid in the suspenders is three four maybe uh, just not very old so this is uh, again the way things used to be this is one of my favorite uh, pictures and it's from 1953 uh, and again these kids are on the uh, on the lawns uh, medians I guess they call them or parkways in front of their homes but look what they do they've got sticks it looks like pieces of wood in their hands my guess is that they're playing um, a sword fight they're sword fighting yeah I think they all got pieces yeah all got pieces of wood anyway uh, and there was another thing you know back then almost none of especially in Chicago uh, those working class neighborhoods uh, people didn't have lots of money usually uh, just the dad worked mom stayed home uh, keeping house and taking care of the kids so there wasn't a lot of extra money so we didn't have a lot of toys um, and so kids use their imaginations and a stick could be a sword or gun a rifle a, a lance a, you name it and it looks like these kids are really really having a good time I, yeah I'm gonna I'm hoping that they're playing sword fighting Well, this is 1921 a uh, working class neighborhood you can see the two flat frame two flat bricks brick homes um, you know a uh, family lived on each floor uh, those apartments were you know 950 990 square feet for the most part the lots standard lot back then in Chicago was 25 feet wide by 125 feet long so 25 feet wide is just not a, a lot of space to put a house on but people were stacked pretty much on top of each other yards were very small and that's why we played in the alleys uh, in the parks uh, out on the streets because that was the only really open space you had the you know those lots included the homes usually a you know like a two flat frame but also a garage and so the backyard the 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 the, the backyards were tiny and if you had a little lawn it wasn't very big and that wasn't uh there wasn't a lot of place uh, to play in in anyone's backyard so people roam the streets and these kids are just man look at all the kids there that's just an amazing amount of kids uh, although I can't tell if that is an adult yeah, it looks like that might be a lady uh, but she's joining in the fun as well this is 1953 again I like that crew cut that kid has but again kids are just playing on the um, on the medium on the uh, in front of in front of the guest or houses uh, I don't see any adults around uh, nah, I don't think so so again just just kids out by themselves having fun really like this picture it's just it's just everything is is so just so great I mean cool about it just the the background the uh, the telephone poles you know in the alley the, the sort of the haze it looks like there was a little haze it's from 1960s so these kids are just having a good time uh, in the alley and 
I don't know. It looks like there might be some teenagers there, but uh, <laughs> they're just uh, playing by themselves. Uh, and boy, they they appear to be having a great time. This is the back of an apartment building, a neighborhood called Uptown. It uh, has just rained, it looks like. And this is what, 1960s, something like that. And well, these kids are doing what kids always do. They used to do anyway. When it rained, you went outside and played in the puddles. Uh, and again, no one really uh, worried anything about, you know, germs or, <laughs> or I mean, if you really think about this too, <clears throat> here are these kids. I mean, they're a backyard all kinds of rocks, broken glass, everything is around, nails, uh, and there they are just uh, playing in this stuff. And uh, again, it was normal, and uh, everybody had fun. Yeah, here's another fun shot, just, uh, just, just, you know, to let you know what, how things went. This is the Bridgeport neighborhood. Uh, looks like those are pretty modern houses there, uh, probably built in the early 50s. Uh, and, but the kid is playing baseball. He's out in the middle of the street. And that's, uh, that's what we did. We played in the streets. And if a car would drive by and we were playing football or baseball, you know, the cars would interrupt uh, and uh, interrupt the game. And of course we would shout at the drivers, what do you think this is, a street or something? Huh, uh, but, um, you know, sometimes, you know, a lot of neighborhoods, uh, Chicago has a lot of parks, but a lot of neighborhoods, there wasn't necessarily a park very close by. And so what did you do? You went out in the street, you went out into the alleys and played. The other thing about playing baseball in a street like this or in the alley, is you really got to hit the ball straight. If you, uh, you know, he's got a mitt on, yeah. So if you, uh, you know, if you, if you hit the ball crooked or veer it off to, to one side, it's going to possibly go through those windows on those houses. And that would uh, not, that would put it that way. The uh, the owners would not be very happy about it. And that's why a lot of adults would always say, hey, why don't you go to the park and play? You know, nah, you're making noise, but you're also going to break our window. So scram. This is from 1903 a uh, Polish neighborhood and you know look boy um, that was a three flat you got the retail store on the uh, first floor and then two apartments up on top there and plus there's an attic up there it looks like as well but uh, this uh, would uh, <laughs> and look at that street that street is not paved that looks like dirt so um, as I joke about this these kids are there are some adults in the in the background yes there's quite a few there's a a little knot of men there and there's an adult over there but nowadays i think they'd be charged with uh child abuse or negligence for one for letting children play in a street and then two my gosh my gosh my gosh they're letting the children play in front of a tavern oh shock of it all this is 1904 and these are kids sledding on a chicago street um, I mean, it's 1904, and you can see that there uh, on the sides that there really aren't any homes. Who knows where this is? But, uh, you know, winter was such a wonderful time, especially in a city like Chicago, because it's a dirty place, grimy, filled with smoke, soot, smoke. You know, at this point in time, all the homes are burning coal. Uh, factories are burning coal to heat. And, you know, in the winter, uh, after, after it snowed, after a day or so, uh, the, all that soot would settle on the snow. And, you know, in a couple of days, the snow is ruined. It's, it, I'm not going to say it got black, but it was certainly dirty. And so the, when it, it starts snowing, is just this special time because this white snow, it's, 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 it's covering, it's hiding the grime. Uh, it's softening the landscape. Um, it's cleansing the air of soot and pollution. And there's nothing like it. Uh, and, and everything seems muffled. And the city uh, is a little quieter, even, even with a lot of traffic going on. So 
This was 19, when I say 1904, kids playing in the street. Again, notice that there are no adult, ad, adults uh, uh, around supervising, and I'm sure the adults didn't even want to go out. It was probably too cold. Another winter scene, and this is from 1918. Yeah, a lot of these are, are really, uh, really early, early photographs, but look at that. They've got that sled. Look at that sled, too. And these kids, you know, they look pretty warm, but... <clears throat> Just rolling in the snow, having a good time, and again, uh, no adults around. Now, who knows? Today, they probably wouldn't even be allowed to have a sled because, see those rails on the sled? Those might cut the children. It might actually hurt them. But this is just a great, great uh, photograph. Another great, great shot. It looks like it's still snowing out a little. I mean, gosh, it probably has just snowed. Uh, and these kids are just having a blast. This is of 1929 and uh, a place called Lincoln Park. And uh, um, yeah, I anyway, it's again, and they're by themselves. One, two, three, four, five, gosh, almost a dozen kids. They're uh, just really, uh, really having a great time. The only adult, to, from, from what I can see, the only adult in this picture is that guy on the statue there. Uh, so... I mean, so there you go. This is from 1919. Uh, again, just, just such neat stuff because you can see, I don't know, who knows what street this is, but in Chicago and all these older cities, the architecture was kind of kind of similar. So on this street, you got retail, and these these are brick buildings, and I mean, but retail on the on 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 the on the first floor. And then look, on, these are just two-story uh, two-story structures. And then on the second floor, uh, living quarters, so apartments. And sometimes, you know, the, the people who own the businesses might have owned the building, and they just lived upstairs from their business. And getting to work was pretty easy. They just walked down the stairs. But um, at this point in time, 1919, um, I don't know. Chicago's population peaked at about 3, 3.4, 3.6 million in the early 50s so uh not not sure how many people there at the time but you can see it's a dense city and that's one of the reasons there were so many kids around because well there are a lot of people uh, this is one of my tr truly absolutely favorite photographs ever there, there's another one in this in this presentation that is is is, is ju that i like just as much but look at these kids there and look at that street. I mean, so it's a street, sidewalks, there's no grass. I don't even see any trees. I just have no idea wh where this would be, but those kids are certainly having fun. And I don't know if there's any, there may be some adults on the sidewalks there, but gosh, darn it. And look at those buildings, two flats, three flats. Um, these look to be mostly brick. Um, and again, people packed into these things, you know, in a family, Back then, you know, they're having four or five kids. That's why you see so many kids on the street, and they're living in these 950 square, 990 square feet apartments. So it's just a lot of people crammed into a uh, relatively small area. But again, the kids, look at that. That's a really joyous photograph. You tell me these kids ain't having fun. Ah, and does it look like does it look like these kids need adults to supervise them? I don't think so. This is a terrific um, uh, photograph. Uh, and it's winter again. The kids are on a sled. But look what they have done. They have, looks like a tree or something, some, some, some kind of big pole. And they've made a sail. And basically what they've made is a, uh, is an ice sailboat <laughs> just going to sail around this park on the ice uh, also at that point in time the uh, chicago flooded its parks in the winter and what they did is the snow they made uh, a rink out of the snow cleared the snow away made made round oval rinks and then took fire hoses to the uh, uh to the dirt and, and sprayed them with water and that of course, when it was cold, below freezing, they froze, and that's where we played in the winter. I skated, played hockey, uh, 
and, and just had a, uh, again, a wonderful time. But they were, I don't know if you'd call them exactly a winter wonderland, but they provided some good recreation for kids. And they don't, Chicago doesn't do that anymore. They don't flood the uh, the, uh, the parks. I suspect it's probably be because of uh, litigation reasons. Somebody probably sued them or something, who knows, or some parent complained. But I don't think they've actually uh, flooded or frozen the parks in, in quite a while. So this uh, this is a scene that really is, you know, cannot be duplicated again because they just don't freeze the parks. Um, 1921, okay. Uh, boy, look at that. That's a water wagon there, and it is uh, basically hosing down the street. And what are the kids doing in this shot? Well, they're racing after. They're chasing the uh, street cleaner, as we, we call them. <clears throat> in my, my day in the 50s and 60s, they had, you know, mechanical things with big brushes on them and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, we would do the same thing. It was just a wonderful, exciting event. The street cleaners are here. Uh, let's go, okay, let's go follow them. And you just run after these things <coughs> until they uh, until they left the area. And uh, it was fun to do. Uh, and this is another uh, great and telling uh, photograph from 1914. Kids are playing marbles. Uh, and there might be an adult. Who knows? I don't, I don't see any adults. But, you know, today, I don't know if kids play marbles today, but I'm sure some, some parent would probably get nervous and say they're going to choke on them if they eat them. You know, like anybody would actually really eat a marble. Although kids can be goofy and they do, would, yeah, I can see kids, you know, really young kids putting marbles in their mouths, but uh, uh, these kids look a little too old to be that dumb. So, uh, but uh, Game of Marbles, again, by themselves, um, working things out. Who knows if, you know, there are, for all we know, they could have argued and blah, blah, blah. So it's a great, great uh, photograph. It is the mid 60s, 1966, and uh, south side of Chicago. Um, urban renewal tore a lot of houses down, and they put up these makeshift uh, swing sets or playgrounds, as they call them, temporary things, you know. But as you can see, uh, the kids are playing in a lot. Uh, it looks like a decent amount of junk there. You know, it looks like some rocks and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I don't think anybody was worried that they would fall off the swing and crack their heads. Because um, it <laughs> usually really didn't happen. But, uh, and it's a great, great scene too, because it's fall or winter. Yeah, you can still see some snow uh, on the ground. And this is a shot from 1928. And the interesting thing here is look at all those kids. Now they're getting sprayed, it looks like with a fire hydrant or possibly a hose. And th that's a fire station. And those guys in uniform are firemen. And they're, uh, they're hosing the kids down. And that's a lot of kids in this uh, in, 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 in this shot, uh, boy, and, and they're having fun now. Yeah, I'm sure kids could still open the fire hydrants now, but that's uh, frowned upon. And you would not, in today's world, have firemen opening a fire hydrant for kids. It just wouldn't happen. So it's a great, uh, great shot. And, you know, I mean, who knows, maybe... Maybe today somebody would worry that the kids are going to catch pneumonia, but this is a beautiful, there must be 20 kids in this photograph. So this is, uh, this is uh, one of my other favorite shots, the one with all those kids running, and then this one. This is really a remarkable photo. Uh, 1950s kids playing in a junk strewn lot. Look at all that. There's chunks of concrete there, wood, probably nails everywhere, you know, probably rusty cans, uh, glass. You name it, and that neighborhood is, uh, you know, there's an alley there, and then the neighborhood and looks like some pretty old houses. But these kids are using their imaginations, and they're playing. They've made a fort out of this piece of junk furniture, and uh, and I'm sure they would have played there for hours on end. Uh, and you know, a, a lot with a bunch of junk in it was just as a wonderland for kids, because you could make stuff out of the junk, and you could pretend. Uh, you know, you could pretend this stuff was guns if there were, 
if there were depressions or holes in the ground, we thought they were, you know, we pretended that they had been made by artillery shells and that they were foxholes uh, or, or dug up, you know, by soldiers. So <coughs> they occupied themselves for hours and hours on end just playing and uh, using their own imaginations. Uh, this is an absolutely beautiful uh, yeah, shot. Again, back to uh, back to this one. Again, uh, just a really, really incredible photograph. Kids are really having fun. I love, you know, I, I just love love the the, the look of the neighborhood. Um, I'm sure that street is still exists and probably looks pretty much the same as it did back in 1911. So, and that's the end of this thing. I think I've got one more slide, but we'll see. Um, again, uh, Disturbers Row, it's a great book. It's a funny book. I wrote it. It's got to be funny. And uh, it's about, uh, you know, five seventh grade boys uh, battling crazed authority, but also about the freedom that we had as kids to, to roam around and to, uh, to play amongst ourselves without too much, almost without any adult interference. So you can buy, uh, go to Amazon and get Disturbers Row. That's, uh, there's the link right there. Uh, you can also link to my web website to get my other books. Uh, with the website is disturbersrow.com and you can see some of the other, uh, other, other books that I've uh, published. And I'll just leave you with this one again. It really is a wonderful uh, photograph. So be happy out there and have fun. Uh, and uh, remember the times when you were kids and all the fun you had playing with your pals. Take care. Bye-bye.